Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome to the channel. So although a lot of people didn't care for the PlayStation Classic upon its release, once they got their hands on modding it, a lot of things changed. Not only can you add tons and tons of more PlayStation games, the games that you want to play on the system, you can also play games from any other system. One of the main issues people are having with modding their system though, is right here. You see most of the mods out there don't allow you to use the internal storage of the system, which is good because you don't have a lot to work with anyway. So the solution is to use a flash drive. The problem is that some flash drives draw too much power from the system and they don't work. This is because the front USB ports of the PlayStation Classic can only draw up to 200 milliamps of power. Now there are a couple ways around this and one of the more popular ways is to find a powered USB hub. Not only will that allow you to use any size USB flash drive, but it also expands the number of ports you have. Another option is to crack that sucker open and do what's called a power mod. Now I'm not a hardware mod person myself, I prefer to do everything soft mod and try and keep as much off of the system as you want, but there is a very simple method to short out the resistors on the USB ports. Dr. Dalek, one of the original modders of the system, actually did a tutorial on how to do it. It's very easy to follow. I'll leave that video in my description for you to check out if you're interested. What people are finding out is that the USB 3.0 drives are giving them the most trouble because they draw more power, usually because of their read or write speed or because they have some flashy lights or something on the drive. If they draw more power than these ports can handle, then they just simply won't work. Using one of the solutions I stated before helps, but I have another solution that not a lot of people talk about. Talking about using one of these. But you can't see that? It's a micro SD card. They're meant to be small. But by using one of these with one of these, micro SD card reader, you don't have to worry about the power usage. These use very, very little power. So far every single micro SD card that I've used with this method has worked no problem. From 16 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes which is what I currently use on my system. So say you have some flash drives that you want to test out but you don't know how much power they draw. That's where this program comes in. I don't know how it's pronounced but it looks like USB DevView or DView. But this program will allow you to see the power usage of any USB drive that you have plugged into your computer as well as anything else that runs off USB. It's super handy, especially for those who had a flash drive hanging around and they don't have the packaging anymore. They don't even know if it's USB 3.0 drive or 2.0. This program will help with that. It'll let you know what kind of drive you have and how much power it uses. So let's open it up real quick and take a look. Okay, well, if you're like me, none of this makes any sense. I mean, you can kind of look into an audio device, input device, human interface device. But this is a lot of information. I'm going to kind of dumb it down for people like me who don't need all the stats, they just need the information. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the options tab up here and then uncheck the display disconnected devices. So now this is everything I have connected to my computer. But then you still have all these other tabs of information that it's, it's good information, but it's not really something we need. So we're gonna condense this even more. This time go to the view tab and go to choose columns. So here's a list of all the tabs we have on there. We don't need all these. We need maybe five or six. So hit deselect all. The tabs you want to check off on are device name, description, device type, connected, scroll down to power, and USB version. Then hit OK. This is much better. So you have your description of your device, you have the device type, the power usage right here, and the USB version. So I'm gonna plug in two different flash drives, one a regular flash drive, and then one the micro SD card with the reader. So the flash drive I'm gonna use is this old PNY 16 gigabyte. This is an insanely slow drive. It skips with FMVs. It is super long load times. I have this simply for file storage. I don't recommend a drive like this to be used on the system, but we're gonna show you what it looks like when we Check it out with this program. You see at the bottom, we have a new device name, USB 2.0 PNY, mass storage, and we have the power right here, 200 milliamps, and it is a 2.0 USB version. So yes, that will work on the PlayStation Classic, but like I said, it runs really slow. So now we're gonna disconnect that drive. We're gonna add the micro SD card with the card reader. Now, if we look at the bottom device, we have a mass storage device, power 100 milliamps. And that's with a 128 card connected to it. One of the main things was the larger cards with these flash drives draw more power because there's more to read or write to, something like that. I don't know how accurate that is, but I've seen cases where people have said they've used a larger flash drive 
and it doesn't work. So I'll make sure and I'll have a link to this program in my description for you to check out yourself. So if you're gonna take anything away from this video, it is that this program is awesome and that my recommendation for a flash drive isn't actually a flash drive. MicroSD card reader every single time. Also, I'll put a link in my description of the different micro SD cards I'm using as well if you're interested. As for the card reader, I have no idea. This is just some generic card reader. I didn't buy this specifically. It probably came with a camera or something. It says DigiPower and you can use a lot of different cards with this SD, micro SD. It's your run of the mill card reader, nothing fancy here. If you guys have any questions about modding your system, I will also leave a link to the AutoBleam Discord in my description. So that's all I got for you today. I hope this program can be useful. I hope you learned a little something about how the system works in regards to using flash drives. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.